let's talk about some attachments. This is what we call a passive attachment. There are two types of attachments. Uh, one is active and that requires a motor. A motor is actively moving the attachment. And then there's passive, which doesn't require a motor. There's no motor involved whatsoever. And that's what this is. So let's learn how to build it and how to use it. It's really, really easy. It attaches to our bumper on the modification axle holders that we created. Uh, and if you haven't created these, then watch the mods video. Again, it just slides right on and slides right off. Really easy. So let's learn how to build it. These are all the parts that we need to build it. Um, and uh, let's just start with these two uh, white beams and these two white uh, three by five L beams. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take uh, a three by five L beam and I'm gonna stick these two uh, blue three pegs in. I'm gonna do that, put both L beams. And then I'm going to put them on the ends of the um, number 15 beams. Okay, so uh, they're, they're on the ends sticking out with one hole, uh, just like this. I'm gonna put the other one on, and I wanna stop right here, and I wanna show you something. So this is kind of like the uh, mounting plate for passive attachments in the front of our robot. Um, we can put it on and build off of this, whatever we need to, whether that's another arm going this way, or, um, maybe something that's gravity fed, whatever it is, we can build it off of this. Going to uh, take these um, axle uh, and peg combination pieces. I never know the technical names for Lego pieces, I'm sorry. Uh, and I'm going to put a blue half axle, half peg in the bottom and a gray peg in the uh, pe other peg hole. Uh, so the peg should spin pretty freely like this. I'm going to make two of these. And then I'm going to stick them in the center hole of the picture frame. All right, so we got that. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and stick it on the mounting plate and it should be just like this uh, and be able to flip back and forth um, just like that. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the red beams in the back here and what I'm going to do uh, use these three or actually two by four L beams and I'm going to put them on just like this so it just overlaps the end of the picture frame but it provides kind of a backing because I'm using this uh, as an example attachment that you can put I don't know water stuff on for first Lego League hydrodynamics game uh, and it'll just flip off um, so it needs something to hold it in the back and um, these L beams I found work the best because they can hold stuff into it so it doesn't fall off the sides, but it's not very big. It's not very uh, in the way of things. All right, so we're almost done. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take through the two center holes of the picture frame, these two eight number eight axles with stoppers on the end, and then I'm going to put the bushings on the bottom of those, just like that. Now that's it, that attachment is made. It's ready to be put on to the robot and ready to use. So let me show you how it works. Okay, so here I have the uh, fountain mission from the Lego uh, first Lego League hydrodynamics game. And uh, the attachment that we just built is on our robot using the axle mounts uh, for the quick attachments uh, that are passive, that doesn't require a motor. And I have a large water. I'm just gonna set the large water in there and it just sits there just like that. And the robot can drive around and move and the attachment's not gonna go anywhere. But then when it would come in contact with the fountain, it would just dump it in. Really cool.